Amy Shannon here, and this is another episode of Exposed, um, Mobility Impaired Denied, and this episode is just going to show um, uh, my scooter, um, my mobility scooter. It is called the Zipper Roo for wheel mobility scooter. Some scooters have three wheels, some have four, mine have four. I like it, and I'm going to put the camera on that. This is my mobility scooter. I actually, it fits enough. I have a walk-in closet, so um, though my closet is pretty full, I try to keep it organized enough to um, house my mobility scooter otherwise it would take up all my room I have no other place in my apartment to park it so um, we'll get started on what this does for me when I bought it um, it had uh, seats and this I added to it this is actually um, a pillow from a gaming office chair so I got a new chair but I found this works really good it actually you can maneuver it to hit your back your lumbar region um, it's the seat is for me at least not as comfortable without it um, it has easy controls so it has a key um, when it is not in use, um, it is put in a neutral or a lap position. And if you can see here, it's a little dark maybe. Um, when you're not using it, you put it in neutral. When you are, you pull the lever back. If you turn it on uh, without switching it to neutral you get that wonderful beep if you do put it on switching it over to here pull that back go back to this one beep and it shows that it's there so I pull my key it can go up and down you can actually take it out I have an extra key um, so this tells you your battery life um, and uh, that helps this adjusts your speed so you can go from turtle to rabbit and rabbit is basically 4.5 miles per hour it has a horn oops did I turn it on horn yeah it has a horn and it has lighting um, it has a basket I actually put it in a bag because when I use my scooter and go shopping I can put stuff in there um, I put my own decals on here it does have a bumper bar it has uh, plenty of floor you can put your feet up here you can put your feet on the floor this is where the batteries connect um, it also has an emergency button. If you, and I found this out by accident, if you crash into something hard enough, your scooter will shut off. So it won't keep going. And so I liked that. I just have my Mike Wazowski keychain, which I got years ago. I bought this. It's good for a walker, a wheelchair. It has various pockets. I keep my masks in there. Um, grocery list, a hand sanitizer, notebook, pen. And these actually are cup holders. So you have places for your drink if you're going to be out a while. It goes up to 15 miles on a single charge. Um, and the chair... The, these actually uh, are set for me, but you can move and make it the seating area wider if it's not comfortable. 
It needs to go up so you can get in and out easily. The chair folds down. It does have a back pocket. Um, after crossing intersections and almost getting run over, even though my mobility scooter is red and I only do that in the daylight, there are people that think they can cross in front of you and um, beat you across the street. So many times that I've almost, I've been inches away from being hit. I've been sworn at. Um, I've been almost hit. I've had people give me various hand signals because they think I am going too slow when I walk or when I'm out and about and I'm going someplace, um, whether it's in the scooter or my wheelchair, people try to rush in front of me because they don't want to be stuck behind me. This is actually um, a bag I have. I use, would use it for going places overnight, but I also, I attached it in some convoluted way where I can put my uh, grocery bags um, and even put some small stuff in this bag if I needed to. Um, when I go out, I use my fanny pack. As you can see, I added my own reflective lights to it. It does have wheelie bars. I have not had this almost, I have not had this tip over or it's been very stable whether I go off sidewalk to grass. Um, it's got great traction on its tires. Um, if I go to the store, large items such as water or bottles of juice or milk, I can actually put right there and they are not in my way. And it has a rubber gripping so they're not likely to fall. The chair is adjustable to height. I'm short, so this is where it goes. So, and then of course I added reflective flags. And even with all the reflective flags and crossing the street, unless I am accompanied by one of my sons who are very noticeable, um, I get into a situation where um, I, people will still try to beat me across the street. Um, this scooter I'm able to use at supermarkets because of electric doors. It, um, they have their own scooters for people who need to go do their shopping. Um, the aisles are wide enough and it's only the other people in the store that give you looks. Some try to help you, some just try to get out of your way, and some just get in your way. So that's just how life happens to me. So this is one of my other mobility accessible items. Um, I really love my mobility scooter. However, if I go to the doctor's, which isn't that too far from me, um, to be able to get in and out of examination rooms and things like that, I have to use my electric wheelchair. Um, and I, if you've seen that video, um, it has limitations because, mainly because of the weight of, is not dispersed. A lot of the weight is mainly in the back. So um, I'm looking for a better wheelchair and um, find one and then I'm gonna have to save up for it to get one that fits my needs. I like to go out by myself. I like to go to the store. I don't always feel up to it, but sometimes it's just nice to go out and take a little stroll, even if it's in my scooter. And I actually prefer my scooter over my walker when going out, but sometimes, like I said, there's limitations. I can't get in and out or maneuver around certain stores where others I can. So this has been Amy Shannon, and I will definitely bring you more videos for Exposed Mobility Impaired Denied.